Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review channel. In this video, I'll be talking through if you can use your projector for a daily basis as a TV. And right now, in my setup, if you've seen my videos, I have 65 inch 4K Philips U TV. You know the model number, but we will probably put it around somewhere on the screen. And up top, we have three meter lengths of huge screen and we can create 130 round, like 125, 130 inch. That means four times bigger than this TV. So we have a projector right here and I've showed you the room generally uh, in my other videos. Uh, we have Optoma UHD 35 4K projector. In this video, I'll be showing you same TV uh, broadcast with a TV and the projector what you can gain, what you can lose, and what to be expect for daily use as a TV. Because in the earlier videos, I'll talk about some stuff, whether opening the lights, closing the lights, what kind of screens that you can get. If you're wondering that kind of scenario, how will it be uh, that the projector will look uh, with the open lights, that you can check that videos with this setup because you can buy different projector screens. Uh, I have here my TV remote my projector remote and my TV uh, box for connecting the projector. This is a small satellite unit and the motorized screen projector screen uh, remote. So I will put down the screen and we will compare both the projector and the TV together. I will just put it in the half of the TV and the screen will be stopped, like by me. And I will, meanwhile, open up the projector because TV right now, the uh, satellite of the projector is with the same channel, tuned with the same channel. And I'm going to talk about some of the stuff. And later on, I will be using my first person view uh, angle. And you'll see what I see when I sit and enjoy my shows or any kind of content. So I stopped the T uh, screen, as you might see. Uh, first of all, I would like to talk about the size uh, when the Optoma is trying to open because of the bulb, it's taking like 50 seconds. So the first thing that we are going to talk about, the size of uh, the resolution that you have from the broadcast because all I'm going to show you is a HD TV channels. I don't have 4K satellite receiver for my uh, projector yet. So all I have is HD resolution TV broadcasts on my projector. So most of the TV channels in my country, Turkey, is based on HD channels. There are a couple of 4K channels like TRT 4K, TRT 4K, and couple of sports channel and the World Cup was also with the TRT 4K channel. So if you have a 4K satellite for your projector, that will be the best option because you're going to be uh, like expanding the view of the TV. Right now, 65 inch is quite becoming small as you can see. This is when it fully opens, the screen is four times bigger than 65 inch TV. This is like 130 inch ish screen depending on the broadcast so uh, you have to decide whether you're going to be going 4k satellite receiver for your projector or a hd because if you're going to hd direction most of the tv channels are not full hd but they are 720p that becomes an issue because you're going to squeeze the screen too much because the 65 is acceptable for the HD resolution because it's 720p for most of the channels. But if you're going to 4K uh, TV channels and if in your country, if you have many 4K channels, then that's okay if you're going to go big, bigger than the 100 inch. So keep that in mind. If you go bigger, the visuals will be softer. If it becomes too soft and it will hurt your eyes but it's not going to be like that. I can guarantee you and I can show you a couple of the TV shows in the video, just in a couple of minutes. Uh, I don't want to hurry the things up. This is one of the things that you have to be considering. And the second thing is if you're not going to be using 4K TV satellite 
And if you're not going to go above 100 inch, you can get away with uh, full HD projectors. So that will lower your cost quite much because right now the uh, the projector that I have is more than $1,000. It's $1,200 range projector, which is, it is 4K. And that's one of the reasons uh, that's why it's kind of expensive. But considering the general prices of the OLED and QLED new generation, over 70 and 75 inch TVs. So this is much cheaper than any TV that you can buy. The second problem is, are you going to be opening the lights and closing the lights? That's going to be differentiating the factor of the contrast as you might be seeing on the wall. So if you're going to close the lights, no problem. Let me just close the first light in this setup. Uh, if you haven't watched the first and the second video, those are most important things. Uh, those are having the most important knowledge about this room. So watch those videos too. And there are a lot of information also in those videos. Right now we have 330, 350, depending on the uh, distance, lux of lights. So I can review 4K uh, product reviews here. I can shoot videos, quite good 4K and even slow motion videos in this light setup. Lights are so strong. Even the quarter of the this setup, the light setup, you can read books. So that is how strong the lights are. So I'm going to close the first light and let's just check. This is the first light and I just closed the lights in the TV region. So as you can see, the contrast is getting higher, but still not as the TV level itself. So if you want to catch the same contrast, you have to close all the lights. I'm going to close all the lights and I'm going to stop the video, take the first person view and then sit on a couch and show you the other channels and the quality differentiation between the screen and the TV by opening, lifting up and down the screen. So it will give you a better idea of whether you can use this setup. But before that, I would like to talk to you about the, how strong the lights are on this projector because this projector is 3,600 probably lumens, Optima UHD 35, and you can buy similar power output uh, Optoma or ViewSonic or Epson models, depending on your region, whenever, whenever you find. But most of the time, you can create same contrast with full HD projectors. So it's up to you and it's up to your budget. And I will tell you how low you can go on the budget in the later videos. Don't worry, this is not a, a truly expensive set up because it will cost less than actual buying TV. And if I give you a specific example, if you're going to purchase 4K 55 inch or 60 inch TV, just a regular LCD TV, not QLED, not OLED, not AMOLED, of course. So those are expensive, but just regular TV, 4K TV, the full HD projection setup will create you 100 inch and a little bit above if you like and it will cost less than a TV with adding a receiver small unit and the dongle it will probably cost about the same with the smart dongle and the receiver so keep that in mind if you're going to purchase a TV and the lifetime of the projectors I will create another video I don't want to keep that long but it will be equivalent to TV. You can probably get away with 10 years or eight or 10 years, depending on the usage time. I will tell you in another video. Let's just close the second light and then get back to the first person view. Here I close the second light. Right now we have only ambient light and the Philips Hue lights behind the seat, under the seat, you probably see when the first person uh, view will come and I also showed uh, in the videos earlier so this is the TV and also the back of the TV has hue lights so that's also creating another ambient light and also affecting the visuals because every wall in this room is white in the cinema setups like most of the cinema rooms are black because of the reflections if you cancel the reflection coming from here to here there is less 
light reflecting back on the screen. So that's why cinema rooms are all black. So keep that in mind. If your room is quite white and if you're going this big in a small room, there, there are going to be some reflection, reflections from the screen to a wall and wall back to screen that will create less con contrasty environment, but still the uh, corridor at my home, lights are open and ambient light is open. Let's just close the video from here and continue with the first person view. In this part of the video, I will walk through the room and show you the TV quality. On the left, as you can see, TV backlights, ambient lights, hue lights or Philips hue lights. Let's just walk and sit not on the couch like you normally would. This is a first person view and this is what you will see if you create a similar type of setup. On the left you see the corridor lights and in the middle you see the 65 inch TV and four times bigger screen that you can really create. Yes, there's a huge amount of contrast difference from a TV and the projector. But let's be clear, the projector is in echo mode. So if you have a powerful projector, let's just start the menu here and this will only change for this projector this is a hdr projector but you can also push the levels of your projector in the next level this is an echo mode and just yeah with the directly mode button i can also change that yes echo mode dynamic echo plus let's just go echo plus as you can see the contrast is much higher like it should be but in this mode it will spend much of the projector lifetime and I will just put it down to yeah echo mode like I used to so you can create more contrasty environment for the purpose of the video I can show you the higher contrast but let's just take a look at the first of all visual quality the sharpness this is a HD a TRT news channel for Turkish people and as you can see the numbers are sharper on the TV because this is a HD 720p broadcast and if you squeeze it too much like enlarge it this is like an upscale of the uh, general view it's not going to upset your eyes it's just going to be a little softer if you go 130 inch four times bigger than a 65 inch tv so if you are considering huge tv setup i recommend a 4k uh, probably a receiver for your projector or you can open up the online contents and spend your time with the 4k youtube videos or any kind of online uh, video channels but if you're going to watch TV you need a better source if you're going up above 100 inch if you go 100 if you go s smaller than this then this sharpness will increase around 20% so it's going to be much sharper but still the TV size is the best to watch 720p HD channels and what I can tell you I love watching movies from uh, this type of setup and if I close the TV contrast will be getting even higher let's just close the TV and behind the TV we have lights I will also also TV lights are gone and I will also lower the screen to make it as a whole meanwhile all the lights around the room closed because of the Philips hue setups also connected to tv so all the lights are gone only light is on the left so you don't see my hands probably too much let's just change couple of the channels with the receiver that i have other than trt and take a look at the sharpness so this is a hd channel and this is also news hd channel so sharpness below like we see the texts they are quite acceptable i think this quality will probably enough for a lot of people and you can live the similar experience with 180p full hd projector with less than half the cost of this setup 
So if you're wondering, you can use it as a TV. I think this is a good example. This could be usable if you close the lights. And if you don't want to close the lights, I will open up one of the lights again from the viewing angle. So you'll think probably a similar. Uh, this is no signal stuff. Let's get back to the other channel. And I will open up the lights again and walk through. So you see general quality is quite good. I will open up the first light at the back of the room. You'll probably seen the video before. So I'm going to sit again the same position like I do. So this is the setup we have. So if you're going to open quite a lot of light so I can read in this light setup and I can even read half of this light. So you have to buy some sort of a ambient lights like a LED strips or uh, you know bouncing down from the wall or from the ceiling kind of light setups which I will show you later with my Philips Hue rest of the uh, light setup but this is a watchable quality visual and if you go down to 100 inch it will be sharper more bright because if you enlarge the video you also lose the light like you spread it if you concentrate it also the contrast is coming in a higher level so let me know what you think and could you be using this setup rather than a tv uh, i could but my wife said we should keep the tv so we kept the tv but uh, other than this i talked about in an early video so you can buy a ambient light rejection screen so you can uh, probably triple the contrast of this setup with open lights so if you're going to go static like put a huge screen on a wall to reflect from your projector so you can get away with the quality that you have with the lights on uh, that i can catch in this video with the lights off so that's a good thing but you have to buy a static screen but some people don't prefer some putting a huge stuff on a wall like my wife and if it's a living room it could be an issue uh, so keep things clean we go for this setup but later on i will review different screens as well so i will close the lights again and finish our video with a huge screen and the total cost believe me will be much less than a new tv if you're considering to continue in this setup if you like the video please don't forget to like it and subscribe and your comments are always welcome direct the channels what kind of videos that you would like to see in the future this is what i see when i sit down at home so this could be also your option and it could be less than a couple of hundred dollars believe me i will show you in next videos i will review much cheaper products uh, so you'll be happy what you can get away with see you in the next video watch home cinema and tech channel bye